this video, I'll show you how to create Java subclasses, override methods, and how to get Eclipse to do some of this work for you. In this video, you will create a subclass of person and override the person's print audit method, follow along with the video, or download the completed code from my GitHub repo in the intro to Java directory. A link to the GitHub repo is in the video description. Let's get started. First, let's start Eclipse and open the tutorial project. Create a subclass of person called Employee with these attributes. Taxpayer ID number, Employee number, and Salary. In Package Explorer, right-click on the Intro Package and choose New Class. In the New Java Class dialog, enter Employee as the class name. Enter Person as the subclass. Click Finish to create the Employee class. Your new Employee class opens automatically in the Editor window. Eclipse is complaining. Why? Well, every class must have at least one constructor. If you don't provide one, the compiler will generate a no-argument constructor for you, also called the default constructor, unless the parent class has a custom constructor like person does and does not explicitly implement the default constructor, which person does not. Both of these things are true for person, so employee doesn't have a constructor. Let's fix that now. First, explicitly create the default constructor in person. Now, use Eclipse's code generator to create constructors in the employee class from the ones defined in person. In Package Explorer, select Employee, and from the Source menu, choose Generate Constructors from Superclass. Choose both of the constructors that come up, remove the to-do comments, Now, add the employee attributes as private class variables. Taxpayer ID is a string. Employee number is a string. And salary is a big decimal. From the source menu, choose Generate, Getters, and Setters. Select the new attributes and click Generate. And the Eclipse Code Wizard generates getters and setters for the new attributes. Sometimes an inherited method like print audit doesn't do exactly everything a subclass needs it to. In those cases, you override the method in the subclass. Create a unit test for the employee class and add a test for the print audit method.
Now run the JUnit test. If we just invoke employee.printaudit, we don't get the new attributes because the code in person doesn't know about them. To fix this, override the overloaded print audit from the parent class that takes the string builder argument. With employee open in the editor window, go to Source, Override, Implement Methods. Select the print audit method that takes a string builder as the argument. Click OK and Eclipse generates the stub for the override. Now add code to print out the attributes that are specific to employee. Run the JUnit test again. There's the output, but it's missing something. None of the attributes of person are showing up because only employee's override of print audit is being executed. So how do you code this so that both person.printaudit and employee.printaudit get invoked? The answer is in the super keyword. Add a call to super.printaudit at the top of employee.printaudit Run the unit test again. And now all of the attributes, including those that are part of employee's superclass, are accounted for. Now you know how to create a subclass and override methods. Remember, the code you saw in this video is available in GitHub, and a link to the GitHub repo is in the video description. I'm Steve Perry. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.